Hi everyone, I am Matthew Miller, the Fedora project leader. I am here to show you something cool. I was at All Things Open conference in Raleigh, North Carolina this week, and I was hoping to actually film a little bit there, but uh, there weren't any quiet moments. So this is a little quiet moment after things have all settled down, and I want to show off this, the Fedora Slim Book, which was quite a hit at our conference booth, and it's something I'm really excited to show everybody. It is a brand new high-end laptop that comes pre-installed with Fedora Workstation. Slimbook is a Spanish company that has kind of a same sort of ethos as Fedora. We are, oh, here's Aoife. Hi, Aoife. It's okay. We're just filming a little show off about the Slimbook here. Um, so uh, they wanted to make it easier for people to get Linux, which that's very much a thing that Fedora would like as well. So we have this collaboration uh, where you can see this very beautiful etched Fedora Slimbook logo on here. It, it's also like 3D. It's, it's really nice. This is a magnesium magnesium alloy case. It says a magnesium chassis on here, but if it were, you would want to be very careful not to get a drop of water on it because that would be very exciting. Anyways, it, um, you shouldn't pour water in your laptop in any case, but this should be sturdy and hold up. That's the entire point of the magnesium, actually. Uh, but uh, here it is running Fedora Workstation 39 Beta. We would hope to have a release out um, next week, but I think it's going to be a little slower than that. But any day now will be a final release. Um, got our new, nice new wallpaper there. You can see uh, here there's actually a Fedora logo key here that does the overview, and that is not a sticker or anything. That's actually you know the keys printed on there. Got the uh, GNU Linux Tux powered by sticker here, and there's not a not a you know some other proprietary operating system involved. That's kind of cool to see. Um, yeah, and a really nice big touchpad. Um, you can see here's your fetch information, as the um, you know people like to show off the ASCII logo for some reason. Um, but there it is. Uh, and all the specs, you can find all that stuff everywhere. It's a pretty high-powered system and a really beautiful screen here. Um, one of the comments we got quite a lot at, at the conference is that uh, it does have a barrel connector for power. That's because with an NVIDIA card in it, it has a lot of, um, it, a lot of power draw, possibly. Um, so you can power through that, but it also can charge through USB-C. So if you just have a normal USB-C adapter or somewhere out, you don't like, oops, I forgot my power brick. Um, that's fine. You can still charge it. And we tried it at the conference. It charges fine like that, just a little bit slower. Uh, so uh, that's an option. Um, yeah, uh, I think it's a pretty great system, and I'm glad that uh, we have this nice collaboration to do this. If this, this is a very big laptop. Um, if you like that, like this would be perfect for you. They also have a bunch of other models and they will also provide those with Fedora pre-installed, um, which is, again, very awesome. Uh, but they don't yet have the cool etched option for the other ones, but I hope we can, I hope we, I hope we all buy enough of these that they're like, yes, we better make some of them in the other versions too. Wouldn't that be cool? Um, yeah. Uh, I think it's a really neat thing. I'm glad we're doing this, and I'm very excited for this laptop. Oh, uh, one more thing. I did mention it, you know, it has NVIDIA on here. Actually, let's, let's look here. Um, so, yeah, it has an NVIDIA card in it, but this is actually shipping unmodified Fedora Workstation out of the box. So it is running, um, let's see, there's a command that they like to use on the Ask Fedora support forum um, for showing your information here. I think that's the right thing. Yeah, you can see here that this is actually using, um, so we've got device two is the NVIDIA driver here, but we are, we're using the, um, the Intel graphics drivers here by default. So out of the box, it's using Intel graphics rather than the NVIDIA drivers, but the NVIDIA card is there for you to use and the Novo driver, the open source driver is powering it to start. Uh, you can actually easily also install the NVIDIA proprietary drivers. I haven't done that yet on this system. It's running just fine, and I've got um, the classic Extreme Tux Racer 3D here. I don't know if you've seen this before. This this used to be the Does 3D Graphics Work on My System thing, so we can just go ahead and see if 3D works at all, and the answer is yes. This seems to work fine. Now, this is not a very demanding rendering or anything, but you can see, like, you know, it's going to work for your basic 
things just out of the box without any extra tweaking or anything. But then that higher powered NVIDIA card is available if you want to do, uh, you know, AI or if you need to, you know, want to do a higher powered gaming, that card is then available for you. Um, sure, we talked a little bit more about the NVIDIA thing, but I think that's enough of a show off for now. Um, I'm really happy about this collaboration. The Slim Book folks are awesome, and this is a really cool laptop.